Hello, welcome to Cloud Channel. In this module, we will learn how to load data into BigQuery and query the data from the tables in BigQuery. And we will learn how to load data from our cloud storage into BigQuery and how do we create data set and we will learn all that and how to query the data from, from the table. And also I will show you how to visualize the data using Data Studio. I'm in the Google Cloud Console. I will go to home and go to, right now I have one storage bucket available, one bucket available in my cloud storage. I will click on that bucket and see what we have in this bucket. I will go to inside, I will go to this bucket and check the files. And right now we have diamonds.csv file exist in our bucket. And what we're trying to do here, so we will load this file into BigQuery and query the data from the table. And also uh, we will use the Data Studio to visualize. We don't um, do much uh, using Data Studio, but there is an option available in BigQuery. We can visualize the data using Data Studio. So now I will go to search and just say BigQuery and select that BigQuery. And here we can see our project available. And before that, I will just click on add data and pin a project and search for a project. And this is already available. My project is already available. Here we can see this project is already pinned. So let me cancel it. So my project is already available here. Now I will go to actions and click on create data set. And I need to give a name to this data set. Uh, we call it as data set ID. I will say data set 01. And data location, we can choose any location we want, United States, European, or anything. For now, I will choose South Carolina, US East one. And here, default table expiration. If you want this table expire after some days so we can choose that option so example i enable this table expression and we need to enter this so if i say zero days and then it so we need to enter that so i will say seven days and we have option here to choose the encryption google managed encryption key no configuration required or we can use manage via google cloud key management service for now, I will use Google Managed Encryption Key and create this data set. Now we have data set available. So just explore that project. And here we can see that data set is available. Now I select this data set and click on open. And here we see options, create table, share data set, authorize routings and copy data set, delete data set. So if we, if we don't, don't want this data set, we can delete it and create a new data set. So for now, let me click on create table. And here, before we create a table here, we can see that data set info, data set ID and created creation time and default table expression so the table expires after seven days and data location east us east one let me create a table so here i'm creating a table that source create table from where empty table or google cloud storage are you if we want to upload a file from our local mission we can do that we can choose the drive or we can choose google cloud big table so right now our file exists in Google Cloud Storage. So I will select this Google Cloud Storage and select file from Google Cloud Storage bucket. So let me browse this and click on the, the storage account. And here I have the file available diamonds.csv. It's a CSV file available. Let me select this file. 
and this is a csv format so it automatically update the file format in case you sometimes if we don't see it we can update it this is a csv file format and destination so where we want to load this data we want to load this data in data set 01 and it, we can give a table name if we want uh, it will automatically create so for now i will say it's a diamond table because this file has all diamonds data so i will call this table name as diamond and auto detect schema and input parameters or we can choose the fields we can edit anything so for now i will choose auto detect schema and input parameters and also if we have multiple projects available we can select the project so right now i'm i'm using my first project this is where the file exists and now partitioning no partitioning let's click on advanced options and here we can see the right preference right if the table is empty so there are no tables exist right now uh, so anything we can choose right if empty or if we want to append the data to a table example if there are 100 rows existing in table and then Right now we have thousand records in our diamond csv file so it will just append the data then it will be 1100 rows or it can override the table if we choose this option then if there are 100 rows if we choose this option override the table then we will have thousand records because the file has thousand it will just overwrite it so those hundred rows will be gone okay so for now i will choose this right if empty and number of errors allowed. So we can choose it and ignore unknown values. We can enable this option or we can just leave it. And it's we can pick like, you know, all these options according to our requirement. And field delimiter is comma and headers, header rows to skip zero. And hello quoted new line so everything looks good again data is encrypted automatically so we can select encryption key management solution we can use google cloud key management service or we can use google managed key so i will create this table now the table is available so now let me just click on this and open this table so now here we can see all the the data that we just loaded from our cloud storage bucket into this table so we can see the field name as c0 and carry cut color clarity depth table price you can see all this info if we want to query how to query data from this table click on these actions and click on query so here we can select the fields. So let's say select start from, and this is our project, and this is the data set, and this is the table. So for now, I will just select, and then I will just say limit 10 records. I want to run 10 records. So now I can see the 10 records here. So we have total 10 records available and we can see carrot cut color clarity depth table price everything we can see it and if we want to save these results in our local mission we can just click on save results and we can use a drive or local file and anything so and just cancel it and and we have one more option available if we want to see the data in json format just click on json and here we can see all the 10 records in json format and we can also save this file just click on and then we can choose the file json google drive or json local file we can select that so and now the advantage here with the big query we can see data and in rows and columns format that we can also see it in json format and if we want to 
look at the query history we can select the query history here and here we can see that uh, 11 o'clock we just ran the, the query so we can see all that uh, history and project history we can see it and if we if we save any queries then we can see them here and now let me just close this one so now if i want to run query like you know i want to see 100 records and run the query and i'm gonna see 100 records so we have 100 records available here so if i want to see the count i will just go and say count star just take this one and just run it so we have total thousand records available in our table so this is what we have in the file in cloud storage account in our gcp store uh, store account bucket we have the diamonds.csv file that has thousand rows so this is how we can uh, query data uh, from the table in bigquery so if we want to explore this data so we have option here that we discussed the beginning of this session explore with data studio visualize results and create live dashboards from our data so i don't go much into these details but i will uh, we will go through this um, in uh, next modules but now i will just show you how to use this just click on this explore data studio so it it takes you to the data studio tool and here we can choose the chart whatever we want to use like you know a pie chart uh, here you can see all the charts available so we can select bubble map or if we want to table with bars and also we can blend the data add dimension and everything we can do that this is all the visualization tool data studio in azure we use power bi in aws we use quicksight in google we use this data studio so for now i will close this session and uh, so far in this little in this module we learned uh, how to load data from our cloud storage bucket into bigquery and how do we query data from the tables and i will close these tabs if we can save it if we want and we can close it and here the table details if we need more so we can see all the the table info table id and this is the table swipe table size and number of rows and when the table created and when the table last modified and then we discussed like you know we set this table expiration after seven days so right now it's june 27 it will expire july 4 11 o'clock so and if we want to see the data so we can just click on preview so we can see the 100 rows If you have any questions on this load data and big query and query the data from the tables, please post in the comments. If you like this video, please subscribe and share the channel. Thank you.